Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's time once again for our spooky basement adventure, Darkest Dungeon. Today we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and that's go after the sonorous prophet in the, uh, the deepest depths of the ruins level one. By doing this, we will finally get... I mean, we're going to get a piece of equipment that I don't care too much about, if I'm being honest. We're gonna get the, I think it's the Candle of Life, is what it's called, uh, which gives us a sweet, sweet bonus to our Antiquarian's healing skills, which is fucking pointless, because the Antiquarian's healing skills are just, they're just trash. They're garbage. But a 50% bonus might make them... I mean... It's going to make them slightly less garbage. It'll give us a reason to use them. All right. It'll, it'll give the antiquarian another usable fucking ability. Uh, but what's more important to me is that this will also uh, bump up the the level two bosses in the ruins. It'll give us the the uh, the whatchamahoos, the necromancer. And the uh, this is a grave urn. We're just not going to deal with that S. And now I also see this awesome pile of rubble. I think we're just gonna back up and uh, we'll take that six stress. We're just gonna go around, guys. This is probably a mistake, but we've got a campfire. Uh, we can deal with the additional stress or damage that we take from uh, not going through there. What I'm worried about is that there's gonna be two obstacles between us and the Sonorous Prophet. Uh, okay, how are we gonna deal with this? Uh, I've got a cultist acolyte. I think our deal is gonna be trying to trying to gank him uh, or gank her uh, before they get a turn. But I don't know how we're gonna do that. I think we can only try it with the grave robber, and then I think it's gonna be the cultist acolyte's turn. Yeah, dang it! All right, well they get a push. How far back? They don't push back at all. Thank goodness. Now, will we be able to kill this bone soldier before it gets a turn? No, its speed is two, but that's fucking... It rolled very well, I guess. It's faster than the rest of our fucking team, all of which probably has speed higher than two. Yeah, damn, bone soldier. Why you gotta do that shit to me? Uh, let's hit it with a grape shot blast, which gratefully takes out that cultist in the back. Uh, we can do a nice party heal for all the damage we've already sustained. And then a smite. Nope. Great. Was really hoping that you would roll higher than that. You didn't. We're all just going to have to deal with that. Fucking awesome. I love all these low rolls I'm getting. Leaving people at one health, two health. It's the best. Best way to take unnecessary damage. So good. Just blap, blap. Get them all away from me. Do not care. Though I could have stalled that one out to get uh, another use of divine comfort, I suppose. Uh, I didn't do that. What I did instead was not that. Ooh, a surprise round. Okay, I wonder if flashing daggers uh, and grape shot blast combined will allow me to kill two of them. Ooh, close. Uh, we got real close. We almost killed this brawler. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to finish the job. How much does Iron Swan do? Oop. Man, we've rolled minimum damage like every fucking time. It's it's just so awesome. It, there it is again. It, did, it, did I did I get on the bad side of a of a witch of some kind? Was a curse laid upon me? That's what it fucking feels like. I feel like I've only rolled minimum damage for my single target abilities, and Grape Shot Blast has actually done pretty well. I, and maybe since I've hit six people with Grape Shot Blast, it, probably fucking cancels out or some shit but still it's annoying bam love how fast this grave robber is holy shit uh i mean she's got the speed stone i wonder if her her grave robber's sort of trap detection satchel is is playing a part in that let's let's do the the calm and collected thing uh and just have everyone kind of heal themselves so that the cleric the vestal can heal everyone and then, therefore, we can go first with a grave robber and throw a knife at the skeleton. Man. Now you get a fucking crit? Where was that? Where was that a few turns ago? You goof. I don't want to touch this portal because I do not have holy water. Uh, not portal, sorry. Altar. I'm getting my, my eldritch accoutrement confused. Did you like that? I got to use the word accoutrement. 
That feels fucking great. Oh, how big is this scout going to be? It's a map scout. Usually map scouts are fairly large, but that one's only two. Ugh, we'll take it, I guess. Hitting a lot of fights. At least we're surprising them. At fucking least. Oh, that's a quickening satchel? I thought that was like a trap detection one. Damn, that's so much better. That's why her fucking speed is a gillion percent. Damn. I'm in love. I'm in love with it. Uh, let's top everyone off with Corbier. Uh, let's wicked hack into this guy with Conta V. And then Grape Shot Blast and fucking blow it. God damn it. A Grape Shot Blast that hit both of them would have been the, the, a fucking perfect fight. It would have been perfect. But now look at us. Now look at us goofing around. Look at us fucking chuckle fucks. We can't do what we wanted to do. What we wanted to do was be walking through that door, be fighting a different fight, but now we're fighting this fucking fight. We don't want to be fighting this one. Ugh. We take another three ding-dang damage. Uh, let's put the debuff charm on uh, Nelon, because I believe he's the only one who can carry it right now. Yeah, not that he has, like, a, a fucking debuff to inflict with it, but uh, at least it's that's extra money we get to carry home to Mom. Uh, okay, for this one, let's throw a dagger at this one in the way back so that hopefully we can get them with Iron Swan. Uh, it's unfortunate that they, they went first, first of most. Uh, let's try to stun this guy. Stun, stun, stun. Yeah, that's my boy. Because uh, I'm less worried about the damage that these these two melee friends can chuck at us. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this has been just talking about the game, Tim Friend. How how is everyone doing? Is everyone doing okay? I'm I'm doing okay. You ain't gotta worry about me. Uh, as you may or may not have heard, if you've been uh, well, no, you will not have heard. So I'm not even gonna say it until like the last episode, because uh, that's something that should come from from both both me and Julia. This will be running along concurrently with some uh, some Julia Friend episodes and uh, there's, there's some fun information in them. So if I mean if you like Fire Emblem, if you like just two people having fun we don't talk much about... Uh, that's not true. We definitely do talk about the game that we're playing. Uh, it's usually me complaining. If you haven't heard the me and, and uh, Julia Friend playing Fire Emblem 6 uh, that is it's a lot of fun. Uh it's you don't have to like the game to watch it in my opinion because it's just fucking it's just two people uh two people in love having a having a chat uh goofing mostly we do a lot of goofing around and uh that's that's to our credit uh, i i prefer goofery uh especially because the game itself does not give me a whole lot to love uh which which you will hear if you watch that series. Any who's it? I'm doing well. Uh, it's been a a weird a weird bit of weekend for me. Uh, we've had we've had a mix of socializing and alone time, uh, which has been nice. It's it's been nice to have have some of that alone time, that time to my friggin' self. Uh, I'm a big fan. You know this. I've I've talked about it before, but. Uh, I gotta, I gotta have some of that, some of that, some of that me time. That sweet, sweet time to myself. And I'm looking forward to having a bit more of that, uh, this coming week. Uh, I've specifically, like, for, for someone who, I, I definitely love hanging out with friends, uh, even virtually. And playing games with friends is, is awesome. Again, love it. Uh, however, uh, this, this weekend was one of the, it's, a time where I just refused so like an invite I was just like I can't do that this weekend and light? admittedly part of it is because I had plans like I gotta fucking record Tim Friend uh, and I need I need time to do that uh, but also like I just just wanted to not have a, a gillion things running running through my mind as things that I would have to do uh, and even though I've probably missed out on some fun times I think it was better for my, my brainium overall uh, let's have Fane Tree disarm this. Fane Tree having this sweet, sweet... Like, I wonder, do they, they don't even get any extra trap disarm chance. Uh, though I don't love that they have uh, additional stress versus unholy. At least they haven't been getting hit by any of these bone courtiers. Actually, we've been seeing more of the, the 
cultist acolytes, but still. Any who's it. Uh, while I love to have fun with friends, uh, I also had stuff to do with, with, with family. I, I had scheduled stuff to do uh, this week that, that, that took precedence. I, I'm, I'm glad to have said no to a more spontaneous thing. Uh, just because it, I feel like it, it was like putting, putting money in the bank. It was an investment in my own brain, uh, which is not something that you get to say very often, but I think it's kind of fun. We don't have holy water, do we? No. Ain't gonna look through that pile of ashes. All right. So we've made it. Uh, we didn't even need to go around that fucking obstacle. Uh, we're gonna use our firewood just to clear off the last bit of stress. Uh, let's just, right, well, yeah, let's fucking, let's feast, let's go to town. The more stress we cure with food, the less, the more we can use buffs. Ooh. Ooh, that's very nice. Sharpened spear, very good. Clean guns, oh, you know we gotta do that. Uh, snuff box removes diseases. I don't think any of us have diseases. Um, I wish we could fucking see that, but whatever. Uh, bless, should we put bless on someone? Uh, but who? Who would it be? Maybe it would be, uh, it's got accuracy base 90. Uh, that's, that's, that's fine. She, and she'll, she'll have like a hundred accuracy. Uh, the, our, our friend, your friend and mine, he's gonna be able to buff his own accuracy. And you know what? He's, he's rocking accuracy too. Then I think, I mean... We don't. We just don't need accuracy that much. So let's let's focus on sharpened spear first. That's what seven. We got five left. Um, snuff box uh, get, get rid of stress. That's fine. Pray gets rid of everyone's stress slightly. Uh, let's actually do sanctuary. Um, that prevents the nighttime ambush, which would be the only way that we would fucking fight someone. Uh, before we hit the Sonorous Prophet, so let's let's stack the deck in our favor at least on that front, and then we'll we'll head off uh, to see the, I mean not the wizard, but the the, <laughs> the I mean I don't know you could argue that he's got magical powers. I really do like the the Sonorous Prophet. I've definitely talked about his mechanics before. Uh, I keep saying Sonorous Prophet because it's much more fun to say Prophet, even though, uh, or it's much more fun to say Sonorous Prophet than just Prophet. Uh, so the P Sonorous Prophet, he chills in the back rank the whole time. Uh, he will not move forward no matter how hard you try. Uh, he's also got some three different pews <laughs> uh, with increasing amounts of health that just sit there and they can't have debuffs or damage over times or be moved like at all. I guess if you tried really, really, really fucking hard, you might be able to bleed or blight one or stun one, but like, there's almost no way you could ever move one. Uh, whereas the Prophet also can't be moved, has no resistances to bleed or blight, loves the stuff, uh, can be debuffed, just probably shouldn't try to stun him. He's going to set up a thing called prognostication, where he just points at a spot, and then at the end of the round, that spot takes a bunch of damage. So our Vestal is just going to... Just gonna take some fucking damage, and there ain't nothing we can do about that. It's a, uh, it's a bummer in the summer for sure, but it's something we gotta deal with. So, we're gonna set up some blight. Uh, we're gonna use the tracking shot. Boom! Now we've got just absolutely massive buffs uh, for our ranged attacks via via our delightful friend. Uh, we could we got like a twenty percent chance to stun. Uh, it's either that or we do like. Five damage. I mean, whatever. Let's take. Well, I'll take the five damage. That's at least you know a twentieth of his health, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that didn't feel great. Uh, let's adrenaline rush on ourselves here to get that sweet, sweet damage bonus. Uh, eye on you. What does that do? It's it's just stress. Oh, and a stun. That's rough. That's rough. We have no way to get rid of that. And here's the the finale of prognostication, a rubble of ruin. He starts every round with prognostication, and it it does a, a shit ton of damage. I'm, I can't can't lie to you there. It's just a ton of it. So the the sort of the clock that you're being put under is how much uh how much healing can you do to mitigate the prognostication damage or how much like moving around can you do to make sure it's going on a different people at once? Because he does not like. I think he like spits on you as his only other attack, 
Uh, but it's the prognostication into the stun is really, really where it's at. Or the prognostication into the rubble of rune is really where it's at when it comes to his damage. So, like, dodge tanking is valid because he just does so much damage that having, like, 25% prots just probably not going to do enough, except maybe on, like, a Crusader or Man at Arms to make you survive two hits instead of uh, surviving one hit. Any but, this has been the Sonorous Prophet. We are absolutely wrecking his steeds coming in here with an almost ideal party. Uh, finally get to land the Iron Swan. That's what we brought the fucking... Hellion 4, but I mean, bringing three, bringing an entire party of people who can hit the back line, three of which who can hit it for pretty serious damage, uh, like that's, that's why, that's why we had the Hellion, so we could have that third, that insurance, because he is stunning us and, and dropping rocks on our heads and, I, and it's slowing us down, but we are absolutely going to wreck this fool uh, in the next, probably this round, uh, like is he going to shout at us, uh, he's going to take three damage, we do the judgment. He'll take damage from Blight and die straight up on his turn. Like right now? Nope, not even right now. Let's Iron Swan. Let's finish it with the with the Hellion that we brought here to do this specific thing. Yay! We beat the Swanner's Prophet. That was easy. It's an easy game, you guys. This game is easy for babies. Uh, let's continue adventuring. How much fucking shit do we get? We did not get a whole ton. Uh, but... You know what? That, that's fine. We're going to be fine. I don't want to go back all that way. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, let's look at all of our shit. We definitely... We have more money uh, coming out than we did going in. Not going to be enough to, like, do crazy go nuts stuff with our uh, with our sanitarium or anything like that. But it should be fine. And we can we can figure out where we're going to go next. Oh, boy. A leper colony. More lepers we don't super want. Uh, we got rid of Plutomania. Great, great. Uh, he just, he wishes to remain in prayer. So Sword of All is just going to be chilling in there, which is awesome. Uh, I'm so glad that that happened. Uh, what do we, what else do we have? Yeah, so see, now that we beat the, both of the prophets, or both of the bosses from the runes, now they're appearing at, uh, at the next level, which gives us the very, more very rare equipment. Like, it's, it's still at the same level, though I think, like, expert mode bosses, like, what is it? Champion mode bosses will give us ancestral gear instead. Uh, this sucks. Hate the Martyred Seal. Definitely don't want to be down there. Uh, but, I mean, it go does give you the option for those extremely high risk, extremely high reward plays. Look at that 60% damage buff. It's insane. Uh, we could go for the Swine Prince. Uh... The Swine Prince, I believe... I, I mean, I think we could just handle it with this party. Uh, though, I would prefer a more... Eh, like, I was going to say tanky, but no, it, it doesn't fucking matter. I also got the Brigand 8-pounder, uh, who I think would also be a good fight for us. Problem is that uh, none of these are giving us great rewards. Uh, the Berserk Mask for the Leper, the 8% crit and 3 speed is nice, but minus 33% healing received is rough considering he's never going to be fucking dodging anything. Uh, his main thing is to just have a bunch of HP, not have prot, and just endure damage. So let's let's look around, let's see what we can get. Uh, <laughs> whew, excuse me, I'm getting a, you know, a little bit of a stuff stuff nose. Uh, there's another Heaven's Hairpin, which would be nice because we're rocking two Hellions so we wouldn't have to swap them around. Wow, another Heaven's Hairpin. Delightful. Uh, but, 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 we're not doing that shit. Don't have the champion equipment yet. So let's fucking... Okay, I'm not seeing a ton of equipment. The Heaven's Hairpin is nice, but it's not necessary. We can just swap around. Swap around. Swap up, swap up, and get down the, uh, the Hairpin for us anyway. Uh, because we're not... We're probably not gonna rock a double Hellion party. Uh, this Holy Orders, minus 20% stress is really nice, and plus 12% death blow resist, it's, it's not bad, it's not, like, incredible, it's not on Kroyab, but it's not bad. Uh, we could go for this Berserk Mask, uh, we are mitigating that minus 33% healing received with our, our Hoozy What's It, our Vestals having such overheal abilities, so we could do the Sodden Crew, and in fact, uh, let's see, they do Blight, uh, let's, let's fucking go for it. Let's have this be a double boss episode. Hell yes. Even though this might take a little bit too long. It, it's fine. It's whatever. 
uh, 16 torches, yada yada yada, uh, and a skeleton key. Always bring that skeleton key. Prying eyes, Prying eyes had become a nuisance on the old, along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. This is a, a ghost crew. A crew of ghost sailors. Yeah, it's it's pretty, you know, conceptually it's pretty generic. How, how many fucking times have we heard about fucking haunted-ass boats in fantasy or even fucking sci-fi shit? Uh, you can't can't go out on the open sea in a fucking fantasy or in a sci fantasy or a sci fi or a fantasy game or anything like that. You can't go out into an open sea without running face first into some ghosts. You know it to be true, and we're even rocking in with the same party because we took so little stress from that last fight. Ooh, delightful. Feels good to go in there with a fucking stack deck and just flip every card up and have it be a ace. I don't know, the metaphor kind of fell apart by the end there. Let's, we'll, we'll not worry about that one too much. I'm guessing that the Sodden crew is way back over here. I mean, off, off of our visible map. But, uh, it could be wrong. Uh, it could be here. That would be something that I would not be shocked to find. Uh, let's have you crack this open up. It doesn't say it's locked. Uh, what happens if we try the skeleton key on it? Nothing. Okay. Well, now we just know. Cool. We bleedies. We bleedies. Great. I'm, I'm thrilled to bleed. Uh, after wasting a skeleton key. Feels good. Man, that's six damage? I don't want to take six fucking damage. That's too much damage for me. Okay, well now we know they're not down there, not up here, so we can safely assume the sun crew is over here. We could roll around, miss this room battle, but we would be enduring another battle to even do that, so fuck it. Let's just roll on through. If we can fight the sun crew and, and win uh, with enough uh, health remaining, though, it might be a good way to, like, or it might be, this might be a good map to backtrack and do shit, because we are not getting any fucking curios. Uh, let's try to get rid of the Pelagic Shaman and the Deep Stinger first. Uh, I think that would be a Blight, a Toxin Darts right there on the back. And then a Pistol Shot. Pop, pop. Okay, that didn't work as well as I hoped it would, but maybe the Wicked Hack. Yes, okay, so the, the Stinger's out. Uh, and then we can Judgment and hit on the Shaman, uh, which means the Blight will kill the Shaman, and all we have to do is endure the two uh, two damaging hits from the Pelagic Groupers, which is fine. We're fine with with uh, with damage because we've got the best healer uh, in our Vestal. Very nice indeed. Indeed, it lets our Blight run out, so now we can, we can heal without worrying about the damage happening to us again. Uh, let's Grape Shop Blast, perfectly finishing off that Pelagic Grouper. Uh, let's have you just yell at him. Just do a big, big yell. Let's knock, lock that stun in, and then we can heal. Yes, perfect. Come through this fight with no fucking damage, with very little damage taken. I guess some damage just rearranged, but whatever. Uh, sure, poison darts. Put the. Now it's just gonna die. That's fantastic. Just gonna die on its turn. We can have you do a wicked slice on the jellyfish corpse. As we try to roll, roll, roll for that Vestal's turn so they can heal themselves back up to full. It doesn't happen, but that's fine. Plus 20% damage versus Blighted. Ooh. Let's do that. That is dope as hell. Um, I am very much down for that. Uh, I should be having my fucking uh, Hellion grip and grasp these, these curios that might make me bleed. Because at least she has a chance to heal herself with her Adrenaline Rush. Uh, but we will see. Uh, let's do the poison darts. Thwap, 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 thwap. Puts the blight on them. Now we just need to do five. D okay, now we just need to do two damage for that. Ugh, for that shaman to die. Don't love that it put the damage buff on someone who's way far in the back like that. I think. I think we're gonna use Conta V to hack at this jellyfish. And then we're gonna focus fire on the grouper here. Damn it, so fucking close. Because uh, killing that grouper will, will save us a little bit of headache in the long run. Uh, hopefully the grave robber gets to go first Ooh, on this next round. 
Very nice, avoiding the brine from the sneakity snail. Dang it. Okay, well now at least we don't have to do anything to the Pelagic Shaman. We can just heal ourselves up with our with our, our lovely friend, the Vestal. Uh, we've put the blight, the fear of blight, into the snail. Uh, can we hit it with a tracking, maybe a wicked slice? Yeah, just just enough to get it down into blight death range. And we do a nice little party heal, gets everyone back up to full. Or one less than full, that's also fine. Uh, and just start hacking away as we watch as we watch the blight do its dark work against our our hated foe. Is it gonna go first and die immediately? Yes, that feels good. It's a good feel right there. Love love to kill via DOTs. There's just something about it. DOTs being the internet's term. The, I I think it probably started in. I mean I don't know. I was gonna say it probably started in MMOs, but I I could not tell you where it started. Um. It's a, it refers to damage over time, so blight and bleed would be damage over time effects for uh, for darkest dungeon. It's 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 pretty obvious, right? It does not it doesn't seem like a big fucking big fucking thing to have to understand. Let's get rid of this acolyte before they can launch a stressful assault on us, and then pop a little pop a little judgy judge. Yeah, uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill that with either with either Nailond or Fane Tree on our next turn. Or we can use Iron Swan and uh, watch as it rolls maximum and we didn't have to use fucking Judgment at all on it. We could have just used the fucking stun on one of these homies and saved us the five damage that we're taking. Ugh, okay. Guard. Alright. It's not the worst thing in the world because we can we do have Blight. We can just stack the D.O.T. Remember, it, it will have been on the quiz, uh, on our our friend the Pelagic Guardian there. Grape Shot Blast will at least go through the guard. It's not the biggest deal. We can try to stun him, stun both of them, uh, while we just stack the stack that sweet sweet blight on them. Let's do a let's do a judgment. Uh, does ooh stunning. Actually gets rid of the guard effect. I did not notice that. Uh, now I wish I had done that with fucking uh, with Corbier, our Vestal, and just stun the Pelagic Guardian instead of stunning both of them. That would have been a smart thing to do. But would I do that? No, that's not my style. Don't do the smart thing. Just roll with it. Roll with your gut. That's the Tim Friend way. Don't plan. Just act. Okay. Let's hack away at this Plagia Guardian. Ooh, a nice crit, but that unfortunately... Ooh, it does! It takes them perfectly down into the Blight range. Very good indeed. Very nice finisher. Uh, let's go with this. I think the ship's figurehead is almost always beneficial. Uh, I couldn't remember if it was like a, a stat buff or like a... Um, <laughs> Excuse me, or if it was a stress reducer. I guess it didn't matter too much because uh, most buffs that you would get from Curios will go away when you camp anyway. And we're going to camp in this next room, I believe. So it's it's not the hugest deal. Man, we are really coming up fucking jack shit for treasure, aren't we? Really coming up jack shits. Hey, okay, here's a fight with a treasure chest. Very nice. And there's a prize. Delightful. Let's focus fire on that back rank. Uh, let's hit him with a jud judgment on this guy. Nope, okay, not great, not great so far. Uh, then let's do a pistol shot on this one. Ugh, one HP, F you game. Uh, then let's do a flashing daggers just so we can start putting damage on the freaking cultist brawler. And then hopefully an iron swan kill. Man, you fucking guys, huh? You gotta roll one lower. You gotta roll one dang lower than I want you to. And you're just just leaving these fuckers alive, so I gotta waste actions on. Well, at least this one missed with its stress wave, but it's probably gonna go first and then hit with its stress wave, so... Fuck it. Yeah, stress wave. Yeah, one damage and 11 stress. Hey, that's, that's not nice. Uh, let's rock this Pelagic Guardian with the toxin, tr toxin darts. Poison darts. Uh... Oh, we crit, so it gives gives the gives the homie dodge, gives our nice friend dodge. Uh, let's stun the guardian, which gets rid of guard effect. Very nice. Ooh, I'm delighted by that. Uh, let's pistol shoot the shaman in the back. 
because he's very accurate with that shit. And then Wicked Hack, start tearing into this asshole. Uh, I think we'll just have to hit him with Grape Shot Blast next turn, which will be fine. Blam! Done! Even put another fucking, effectively a Blight Tick on the Plague of Guardian. Put another hit on him, I don't care. We'll just keep wailing on this fool until he's dead. Whoa, wait, the microphone, sorry about that. I don't know if you heard it, I technically just hit the, uh, the thing that obscures my, my plosives from, from getting on the thing. I don't even, it's definitely something that I have been like, I have read this like, oh, this is a thing. You gotta get a fucking mic screen or your plosives will be crazy. Uh, but, I don't know. Whoops. Go back in there. You can't go, go yet, you gotta go to sleep first. Uh, let's eat. So we can get as much health, just like last time, get as much health as possible. Uh, clean our guns off. Uh, but, 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 should we get Bless on someone this time? Uh, I need Bless on, like, yeah, let's do Bless on our Hellion. Um, and we'll do Sanctuary. I'm not, I wasn't super jazzed by the crit, uh, or, or Sharpened Spear giving, like, 8% crit. Uh, it, I would rather have the accuracy and dodge uh, for this fight because I'm less knowledgeable about what the Sodden crew do. It's less, uh, I don't know, it, less, it stands out less, if that makes sense. Ooh, let's have you drink that. Let's have you drink those gross water. Oh, it's contaminated. Great. Uh, now she's got a disease. Great. You've got a disease after we fucking rest. Awesome. Uh, but, 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 yeah, this, this has got to be the one. Unless it's it was down there in the corner there. Hey, the Sodden crew. Okay, they've only got 100 HP. All hands on deck. What does that mean? Yelling at me? Okay, so they get a drowned puller? Yeah, it's got an anchor. I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna yank around our, uh... Our order, which is impolite, to say the least. Uh, let's start off with some poison darts on the crew. So that way we can get a, uh... A nice damage versus blighted, uh buff against them. Ooh, I did not notice that this Drowned Puller has a fucking sweet, super awesome uh, protection 50%. So he's taking 50% less damage from our shit, uh, which will be rough. Let's see if we can just lock a stun onto him, and then maybe put some Blight onto him as well. Though I am sad we won't be able to capitalize immediately on our, our delightful plus 40% versus Blighted thrown daggers. Drink with the dead. Okay. So, so far it's just kind of a multi-action unfocused thing. Really wailing on my Hellion in a way that I do not appreciate. Okay. It's, he's not three spaces. Is he? There's still a space back there? I wonder if he's gonna pull someone else out. Uh, so let's launch the darts. Put that bleed, put that blight on him. Uh, let's have you adrenaline rush to get rid of your bleed. Also give you a nice little damage bonus, so you can make use of that shit in whatever way you prefer. Uh, ooh, a delightful crit, even with the melee attack, the one that you don't use. Uh, I'm fine with that, though. That, that, that feels good. Drink with the dead is the stress one. That's fine. So he's got, like, a the Sodden crew, right? It's three guys, three sailors. He's got the all hands on deck, the captain, uh, so we'll pull or bring someone up or whatever. Drink with the dead. This 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 fun fun drinky pirate uh, who puts stress and the single damage, and this boarding hook person, which I think just does damage and a bleed. So he's kind of a kind of an all rounder, as far as I can tell, and that's fine. We can we can handle that. We're gonna DPS the shit out of him, or DPR, not DPS. Boarding clutch. I wonder if it's. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like the same actions every turn too. It's gonna start with a pull. All hands on deck. Woo! Yeah. You fucking pull them, I don't care. Uh, brings up the Drowned Puller. Uh, let's put the darts on the Sodden crew. Uh, I don't know... I don't know how much we're going to be able to do if we keep swapping targets to the Drowned Puller. So let's just try to DPS it down in this or the next round. I don't know if we'll have our, our Vestal go before the Drowned Puller. But if we can get a, a stun on them... Then they miss this turn, and then we get all of this next turn. We d we did not blight them, or did they already go through all of their blight ticks? That's the thing with these fucking these bosses, man. 
You gotta, you gotta get multiple instances of blight. That's not gonna work, is it? Okay. Uh, well, we could start throwing knives at it, but I think now without the, without the additional blight, well, that's that's three points per round per four rounds. Okay, maybe we, maybe they just endured it. Yeah, they just resisted the blight, even though they've got a twenty percent blight resist and a fucking, they've got a hundred and ten. It's just, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, video game. Fuck you, man. I was not. I'm not pleased with how that happened. Uh, we're just gonna just gonna try to kill this 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 homie, even though he's gonna come right back next turn. We're just gonna try to kill him. Uh, boop boop boop. One to two. It'll have to do. Got that two damage. It's pretty sweet. I wonder if they're ever gonna get a turn. They probably go last. What's their speed? Oh, it's zero. Yeah, they're not gonna get a fucking turn unless that happens. Unless fucking that happens. Even with a 22% damage buff. Rock that sweet, sweet garbage. Okay, I don't like this. I don't remember what this does, but I don't like it. Uh, it healed them to full? That's incredibly rude. Okay. Um, immobilize. Don't love that. Uh, let's, let's, let's blight them and just kill them. See if getting rid of this puller gets rid of the fucking, uh, see if that gets rid of the shit. How did they gain health from that? Ooh. Holy shit. Maybe they just lose their protection when they've got someone grabbed. That's interesting. Uh, blam blam. Gee man, you got a 27.5% chance to crit, my dude. Where are these crits at? Where are these crits going, huh? I want them. I want them on my team. I want my friends to be critting. I should just try to stun these homies, shouldn't I? Well, it, the problem with stunning them is that that only gets rid of one action. So, whatever. Hey, look, it's our best friend, the Drowned Puller. Be blighted. Be blighted instead of the way you were before. Thank you. And I know we're gonna have to fucking, uh, <laughs> blight him again or some shit to just make sure that it sticks. No, we're not gonna blight him. We're just gonna throw a knife. We're gonna go for the kill, this time for real. I know we're, we're way over time. That's okay, don't worry about it too much. Uh, let's knife this guy. Knife to meet you. That's uh, that's something. Boom! We don't even need the blight debuff on him. We just we just ding dang killed the man. Okay. Next time on Tim Friend, we're not gonna go back. We're just gonna go back home, and I'm gonna do some some admin work, and we're gonna have a great time. Thank you for joining me today, everybody. I hope you have a great day. I certainly will. Bye bye. Tim Friend.